When you're on vacation, you feel a deep sense of freedom. No boss, no deadline, living life so full that your entire being vibrates at a higher level. That's what it's about and why we bought a vintage houseboat in Minnesota to boat down the Mississippi River to Louisiana. It changed our lives. Now we're on a permanent vacation mindset and we want you to be as well. Life is too short not to explore. So subscribe and join our crew to see where this river leads us. Yours truly, Margaret and Bradley McCoy. Capital, state capital, state of Louisiana, state capital. And then this is the, the black one. I'm go casino out. in Baton Rouge. So I just rolled through that anchorage area. Any ships behind me? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Babe, be careful. There's a lot going on. 
How's that? The waves have gotten better. Still like we did St. Louis and all the rest of it. We can go out here on the front. Sure. And you ready to do, you do a selfie with it? Sure. Raising Cane's River Center. Oh, it says Baton Rouge right there. Let's get it with the sign on the on the levee of it, huh? You ready? Yeah. Come on, Margaret. We gotta do this quick. No, it's zoomed in. It's only of our nose. We're in Baton Rouge. This is the I-10 bridge. Show the downtown. There's the, there's the Bell Casino. There's the Bell Casino. So you can, get, can you get the Baton Rouge sign on the wall? And then you can see downtown. Hey, guys. There's downtown Baton Rouge. Hey. We're about to go underneath the I-10 bridge that we've done so many times going in to LSU. So all the cars stuck out there. Going, I guess eastbound, the eastbound traffic. Can't really see it from here. Here we are, just doing it. Hey guys! Oh, there's a barge just whipped out. We got some barges. Here's the port of Greater Baton Rouge. Pretty crazy. Okay, we'll show y'all Tiger Stadium once we get there. Ba, 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 da. Ba, da, da, ba, ba. from the Mississippi River, y'all. Pretty epic. Tiger Stadium. It was epic, but I want to show you guys these massive, 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 massive barges. Talk about intense. It's called the Predator. No big deal. Correction, Bradley is saying this is a carrier. It's not even a barge. It's legit bigger than a cruise ship. These carriers do to the barges and tugboats what the barges and tugboats do to us from a size comparison. These things are massive. Like look, this towboat, like, it's like look at this little tugboat. 
And the tugboat looks at us and they're like, look at this little house. Okay, so the houseboat is way down there. And I have walked only a mile, mile and a half down the beach. That's as close as I could get the boat in Baton Rouge due to the channel um, and ships. So I'm way down here. And my friends are still right at this point because they're coming to meet and see us. So they are right there walking this way. So we're probably just going to get a hello in. Uh, drink a beer, slap each other on the back, and uh, call it a day because I don't think they can walk all the way back through there and get back, and I can't. And then everything, the reason we're walking down the beach is the woods are just really intense, and it's a couple miles back into the road. So this is the best we can do. Man, look at all this stuff we've walked through. This is some love right here. These guys coming, coming over this levee and walking through here. The boat Way back there, you can't even see it. I don't think I can find it. It's back there somewhere. It's weighted down. That barge we just saw looks. It doesn't dwarf it. But yeah, that's to your point, it's weighted down, so that makes a huge difference from a visual perspective. Mm -hmm. See, I don't think it's throwing the type of weight those barges have to throw to push them because of their deep draft. The problem with barges is they just push all the water across the top. Right. Well, we're about to find out, which is good. I'd rather find out right here. Me too. All right, so we uh, we made it through Baton Rouge yesterday. It was a little intense. Number of barges you could see where they're just pulling off from one um, dock, crossing over to another dock, passing back and forth on the tugboats. Uh, but anyway, we made it through Baton Rouge, which was fantastic. We're um, just to the other side. Well, I mean, we're still in Baton Rouge, but we made it through the port. Um, and so we've probably got about 130 miles to go. Right now, I'm taking 
I left about, there's probably about 25 gallons, 30 gallons of fuel in this barrel. I'm gonna go ahead and empty it out so we can be fully empty. I don't want any extra weight sloshing around as we get into this next stretch. It's nothing but um, petroleum plants, uh, petrochemical plants, uh, barges, I mean, just industrial, the whole next route. Um, so we're gonna be getting a lot of traffic. So anyway, I'm, um, I'm taking this fuel. This is the fuel pump right here. I've got my wires, I'll run it to the boat battery. Um, and we're gonna to top the tanks off. And then also, this entire trip, I've been running one motor at a time to be more fuel efficient. However, when I get into these ways with these barges and we get into all this traffic, running two engines is, is crucial. So that way I'm glad I'll go ahead and I'll, I know I have plenty of fuel. We're on the home stretch, I got plenty of fuel. So if I've got to run two engines, we've got to run it a little harder, uh, whatever it takes to be safe and to get home uh, safely. So that's what we're doing right now is just topping the fuel off and getting ready for this last leg.